Hello, this is Kirsty from TeacherWise. Today I'm going to show you how to use my editable pixel art resources. Um, so we're starting with the Christmas resources. This one is a picture of Santa, I believe. So I will start to put in the answers and you will see the picture is beginning to form. Okay, so this one's Santa's face, and for the same resource, I also have the version which has 20 questions. So depending on how difficult you want it to be, um, you can use whichever suits your needs best. So for now, I've not added any questions. You can add your own questions, and the answer, to make it simple for training purposes, I've put 1 to 10 down here. So if you have never worked with um, pixel art and conditional formatting before, I'll show you exactly what to do. Don't worry, it's really simple. All the formulas are already there. You're just going to change a couple of digits to suit your answers. So to start, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all the green squares, the whole picture area. And once you've done that, go up to format and down to the conditional formatting tab. Now you will see all of our formulas. Now please don't delete any of these. All we're going to do is edit a couple of figures. So if you click on the first one, you want to come to this custom formula here. We've got equals dollar sign D dollar sign A. So that show that's showing the cell. D8 is here. And it's saying if it doesn't equal one, change it to blue. So our answer is one. So if your answer is not one and your answer is a hundred, you just change this number to 100. Now it's went blue because it's wrong because in this box I have number one. So if I click done and I change this to 100, it will disappear. And then same again, you can't see them on the right so you're going to highlight all of the picture, go down to the second formula, so we're changing number two to whatever your answer is. Your answer could be 200. Click done. Change your answer here. And that's it. Highlight again. Go to your next one. Now your answers do not need to be numbers. You can have um, words as your answer. But with one difference, if your answer is a word, you must use quotation marks around that word. So if your answer is Santa, you must put quotation marks there. And when you type in Santa with no quotation marks, it will register it. So if the answer is a number, no quotation marks. If it is a word, use quotation marks. And you will just continue down until you have corrected all of the formulas to what you want. So what we'll say this answer is reindeer, quotation marks. Just like that. All the way down. And as you see, when you delete them, it will just disappear. And these are just type your questions in the question box. And that's it. Make sure you delete all the answers before sharing this resource with your students. Um, and that's it. Really simple. I hope you enjoy these resources. Goodbye.